Hello everyone, so last week during my self-isolation, I was on a bit of a movie watching spree and I came across something called Mechanic Resurrection and I clicked on it, you know, just kind of out of curiosity. I thought it might have been like some sort of car show where a mechanic resurrects old automobiles. I didn't really know what I was expecting, but instead I got a crappy Jason Statham movie. Now, if you don't know who Jason Statham is, it's this dude. I'm sure you know his face. He's always typecast as, you know, the cool assassin guy, the ex-military man, you know, coming back from retirement to save the world from evil, you know, those kinds of roles. And this movie is no different, you know, he's, he's this assassin who's living in Rio under a fake name and all this stuff, and people come and try to kill him. Long story short, he flees to Thailand, okay? And he ends up on this resort, and the, the lady owner of the resort, who they're like, they go way back, they're friends, lets them stay there for free, all that stuff. She sees this woman being abused on this boat. So she's like, uh, Jason, I know you're an assassin. Go kill the man who's abusing that woman. So he's like, okay, I'll go. And he swims out to the boat, and he kills him on accident. And uh, he, he takes the girl back to his cabin or shack, whatever it is, to like let him sleep and rest. And he finds out that she is also like a trained assassin whose plan is to come do something to Jason Statham. So she wakes up and he's like, what are you doing here? I found your stuff. What, what, what do you want from me? And she explains that the men that sent the original people to kill him have now hired her to go to Jason Statham, try to make him fall in love with her. And then they're going to use her as collateral. They're going to like kidnap her and make him do a bunch of stuff. Okay, so now at this point, you would think Jason Statham, being a trained assassin whose job is to do this stuff, would distance himself from this woman or kill her. You know, one of those two things because the entire plan is to not get connected to her because that's what the bad guys want. They want to use her as blackmail. So you'd think he would get as far away from this woman as possible. But of course, he does the exact opposite. He falls deeply in love with this woman in the span of like three days. They're going on dinner dates, they're doing these like traditional Thailandese ceremonies and dances with each other, they're going for long walks on the beach in the mornings and in the nights, they're sleeping with each other, and, and you're just sitting here thinking like, okay, what's going on here? Does, does Jason Statham have some sort of plan here? Is he trying to make the bad guys think that their plan is working and then he's going to pull something out of his bag of tricks and like, and, 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 and make this all good because he knows, he knows this is what he shouldn't be doing. So you're just waiting around, and then the girl gets kidnapped, and the bad guys come and say, okay, you're going to do this, this, and this for us, or we're going to kill her. And you're expecting him to be like, hey, but I actually, that's the fake one. I've sent the real lady off to Zimbabwe. You're, you're just expecting something different, but he's just like, okay, what do I have to do? And you're just sitting there like, wait, hold on. You, you, you knew, you knew the ruse this entire time, and you still walked right into it. Come on, Jason. Come on. So he gets his tasks. Okay, firstly, he has to go to Malaysia, get himself imprisoned, and put into a specific prison because at that prison he has to kill a warlord. Okay? Then he has to escape without anyone knowing he did that, then fly to the land down under. He has to go to the good old Australia, you know? Then he has to kill an Australian billionaire, again, without getting caught, without anyone knowing he did it, then leave, and then go kill a drug warlord. All of this without anyone knowing he did it. Okay. Let's look at the logistics here. Firstly, places like these have guards, whether it be law enforcement or bad guys. You're going to get caught, but Jason Statham doesn't get caught because he's Jason Statham, obviously. But why would you accept these tasks? Again, you have known this woman for like a business week. He's not even obliged to do this stuff. They're just saying they're going to kill her if he doesn't. But I would be like, see ya. I'm sorry, Jason. You are not in love. You've known this woman for 72 hours, and now you're going to go commit an Easter egg hunt of murders around the world. All for a woman that you have known for the time it takes for an Amazon package to get to your doorstep. Jason Statham, more like Jason Simp, am I right? But of course, Jason Statham, our modern day Superman, is able to accomplish it all a little bit more. He even kills the bad guy who's been holding his girlfriend hostage, gets the girl back, they live happily ever after. And that's it. That's the end to the movie with the worst, most unrealistic plot I've ever seen in my entire life. It's five years old, it's not even relevant anymore. I've never even heard a single person talk about it, so I don't even know why I'm giving it so much thought. Just, just the, the plot made me so mad that I had to make a video about it. I had to express my feelings, my rage over this film. So, you know, th that's it. That's it. Um, if you have any movies that are just bad or made you angry when you watch them, let me know in the comments. 
And as always, I'd love to hear about it. But for now, that's all I have for you. Bye.